Aloha friends, we had just gotten back from Costco. It is Saturday, I believe the 9th or the 10th of February. And I want to make sure that I upload this right away so that you guys can see um, the current um, items that are um, on coupon, uh, coupon days over at Costco. So most of the items that I did get um, did have some... Um, some not percentage off but a couple of dollars off of the regular price i just want to start with the the um the pizza so i always get um costco pizza because one it's cheap and two uh flavorful so the kids love their um meat lovers delight and i always get um large slices which is 18 slices and it's nice to actually put them into um i double bag it ziploc bag and then put them into the freezer so when the kids are hungry they can easily just grab one um, either heat it up into the oven the microwave or if you have one of those countertop um, little ovens that would work too with the kids and um, mocha frappuccino 15 count this was not on sale so this one was about $17 so Jonathan goes to um, college classes at night and he likes to have one of these to um, kind of hold him up and give him a little bit of um, energy. Got that. This one is on sale there. Kirkland, um, Kirkland Keurig cups are on sale. So this is $120. I believe they're like $34 for the $120 cup. So they have the dark rose, but they also have the, the medium rose. So both of them are the Kirkland Signature brand. They are on sale. And then also what's on sale is the Charmin um, 30 Jumbo Rolls. And I believe that one, I don't, I'm not quite sure, but I know they were a couple dollars off. So I wanted to um, get some of that. The family needed it. This one is also on sale. This is the Jimmy Dean Croissant Sausage Egg and Cheese. Now this one lasts us a while because not everybody tends to eat it every day for breakfast. But it's good to have when especially um, my high schoolers or the college student or hubby when he goes to work and they're in a hurry. Um, scrambling for time so it's easy to just pop it into the microwave take it with them to go they can eat it in the bus they can eat it on the um, car ride or they can actually eat it um, at the school when they arrive there because they they get to school about 10 minutes uh, 10 to 15 minutes before the bell rings so it's nice to have that um, for the kids and then also this one is not on sale my kids go through a lot of these Kellogg's Eggos so they pop them into the the toaster easy simple add some syrup to it but what the kids also like to do is add peanut butter to it instead of the syrup so peanut butter and then we have the trader joe's cocoa um, butter cocoa almond butter that's good with that too or else if you have the nutella super good with that too on top of the peanut butter so they like that this one was on sale i don't usually buy this because i think it's just nothing but sugar but once in a while i will have the kids have it especially at costco when i believe this is either six dollars for the box or four dollars one of those prices but it is currently on sale got that and then also um the kids love this um i like it too the Quakers flavor variety. This is, um, like I said, this is also on sale. I don't know, maybe four dollars off. I want to say four dollars off, but it comes with three different flavors: maple, brown, sugar. Twenty-two of them: apples and cinnamon, sixteen, and then cinnamon and spice, fourteen. These are perfect when you have like the raspberries, the strawberries, the blueberries, and even the um, the bananas. Costco bananas with us, they ripe so fast, so I tend to just put them on top of oatmeal or with smoothies, so it's just a perfect combination for that. The kids love that. And then this one. So I wanted to grab this last year, and they ran out. So this year I saw it, and I wanted to make sure I went ahead and grabbed it before I really needed it or before I'm planning to install it. Um, they did, I don't know if it's the same brand that they had last year, but this year it's, um, it's nice and sturdy. This is $32.99. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, eight, what do you call this? Uh, like copper, is it copper, copper looking, um, like tulip flower design to it. So our, when we bought the home, on the front of the house it has these and it actually missing like the gutter 
part so I thought it was missing it but I think what happened was they had this and they probably took it um, with them when they they sold the house so I wanted to go ahead and replace that and then this one is also on sale this is the downy fresh protect um, odor defense for breeze this smells really good I believe this is scent forgot what it's scent I thought it was oh April fresh right here at the bottom but it's such a big container and it was also on sale I think it's like eleven dollars for that so I wanted to use that into our regular wash loads and then this one is also on sale I didn't want to pick this up because these are like the 30 bags so they're the bigger chips um, hubby will pack them but I tend to hide them from the kids otherwise they'll just snack on it after school but um, I will pack this like a couple days out of the week for them not every single day because like I said they're the big bags and they get too accustomed to that but I like to pack them their sandwiches or bento box of uh, whatever I cooked the night before or noodles and then I'll have um, a cracker and then a fruit to go with it so that's what I usually do and this is just like a treat for them so but that's the big big ba bag so I don't want to give it to them every day now bananas are $1.39 or $1.99 I just get the regular non-organic one um, usually I just get non-organic for bananas I honestly I, I feel like because it's grown up high that it's not onto the ground to where I have to worry so much of like the pesticides and plus it's not like those fresh fruits of like the, the raspberries and the blueberries so it's not one of those like you you have to wash and um, and such you have to peel it that's what I'm trying to say you have to peel it so when I get non-organic of the bananas I don't really worry about it and then also like the the oranges and stuff like that because you do have to peel it compared to just washing it and then eating it as is with the fruits okay so avocados $5.99 was a good price for this one so there's one two three four five six so six I love to use this uh, currently with um, toast avocado egg and toast for breakfast so I have that every other day or so but I also like to um, to make my own salsa so once they're soft I chop it up add some tomatoes and then some um, salt and pepper and then sriracha and then um, just a drizzle of lemon if I have some and that's it uh, rough chop it so it's nice and chunky and then you dip it with your crackers your pita crackers pita chips or your um, I love the Juanitas chips with that so Costco had a great price with their eggs uh, today this is just a cage-free uh, brown eggs and I believe this was $4.39 compared to the white eggs that I usually buy which was $3.99 so I figured you know I just spend a little bit more and get the brown eggs um, for that because I have been frying it um, over easy on toes so I, I wanted to um, get some fresh eggs and then Hawaiian bread I love to use these Hawaiian breads they're so versatile I make them for the kids um, luncheon meats uh, sandwiches but then also you can make um, sliders with them and pop them into the, the oven you put cheese um, cheese and then the deli meat and then on top you uh, basically make this um, seasoning for it that has like the mustards um, mustards and I forgot what else but it's all over in Pinterest and it's really great so it's easy to put into the um, to the oven and have as a snack um, for the family or when you have like little parties I've done that before this is our go-to ramen so we love to go to the ramen house and it can be a bit pricey for one bowl of ramen it can cost us between nine to eleven dollars this one is $13 over at Costco. There's six bowls and it's actually very flavorful. I like to add more water than what it's recommended because I like to have the, the broth. And I feel like when you add a little bit more water, then it's not as salty. So I tend to fill it all the way almost to the rim. But this is so good. All Everybody in the household eats this. So this is like really perfect to put into the freezer downstairs whenever someone's hungry after school if someone's always hungry after school they can easily just you know add some water pop it into the microwave and it's done in five minutes and then this is a new item over at Costco so I get the kids the muffins they love it so they love the the chocolate I think it's the white chocolate chip now I forgot what it's called but then they have the chocolate chocolate which is like a brownie they have the 
um, they have the pumpkin streusel or something like that. So they've been having a couple of varieties. This is a new one. It's the coffee cake muffin. So I wanted to grab two of that because the only flavors that they had this time was blueberry, like the brownie chocolate or the, um, the is it, that's not sesame seed. It's those um, poppy seeds, I think. And the kids don't really care for those so much. So I wanted to grab two of these and try it out. And I'm sure it's going to be delicious because it's coffee cake. And look at that. Nice, perfectly baked um, muffins. And I think that's about it. That's all I got over at Costco. So I'm going to also upload my uh, video that I forgot to edit last, I think it was last weekend. So I tend to go to Costco every two weeks now. Um, to Trader Joe's, I go there for my veggies. I like my veggies, my salad mixes, my tomatoes, all those nice and fresh. I don't like to buy them over at Costco with the big... Um, big containers anymore because they just tend to go to waste and um, so Costco um, Trader Joe's I'm sorry Trader Joe's is for that Costco is my bulk items um, as you guys know they're like um, cereals and these that I can put into the freezer and then I also go to the commissary and that's where I buy all of my meat so last weekend I did go to the commissary with hubby and I spent um, almost two hundred dollars worth of just meat and a little bit of like pantry stuff so i still got so much food this is just adding on to what i bought last week but i know that these are like jonathan's out of that we're out of coffee and this and that and that are just something that every day that the kids can eat i know i needed some more of um some type of fruit and then avocados it takes a while to ripe i still have two avocados left but by the time i'm done with that these are like rock solid hard so i know that's not gonna ripen in, in a day or two and then these you know the other stuff were just on sale so I'm gonna add on to the other video as well probably two uploads you'll see back to back of a Costco and then grocery haul so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you guys for stopping by mahalo